my roommate was like, what, are we going to have alcohol or are we going to have plants on this? <laughs> I was like, well, we could try and do both, but... <laughs> This video is brought to you by Aspiration. Last year, I opened up an account with a financial firm called Aspiration, which provides people a digital banking alternative to big banks. Now, most of us may not be aware, but when you deposit your money into traditional banks, they're allowed to use 100% of your deposits for investing and lending, and you don't have any say as to where that money goes. So oftentimes, banks will lend your money out to everything from like fossil fuels to guns, and that really sucks. Now, Aspiration, on the other hand, takes another approach. Firstly, they are a certified B Corp, which are businesses that are focused on public transparency and then also social and environmental well-being. And they offer two debit card options which may fit your needs, including the Aspiration Plus card. They offer up to 1% APY on their savings, carbon offsets if you're purchasing gas and you're driving about town, and then 10% cash back on socially conscious spending with their coalition partners, which I encourage you to check out to see if it's worth it for you. So if you're interested in this at all, you could see the link in the description below. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Good. Welcome to my humble abode. Well, it doesn't look so humble in the plant <laughs> department. <laughs> I try not. I try not. Yeah. So this is your kitchen. This is my kitchen. It yeah. just got redone a few months ago. And so as a result, um, I was able to put in some grow lights over here. I have to say, these work really well, and like the plants have been quite happy. Yeah. And so what do you I've have over here? So I've got my oh, little. You got all sorts of. Like, yeah, I got all the little stuff here. So I name my plants. I'm gonna try and remember some of them. I'm not always good. So these are the Rolling Stones. And they're doing pretty well. They've yeah. been in this forever. Um, I've got, so I got this from Greenery. Um, they actually gave this to me. This is Squamifarium. Wow, that's, yeah, a good, doing... that's a good one for them. I, I've yeah. never seen them have like such an interesting philodendron there. I know, so she's I've been seen doing quite well. I've there, but wow, that's um, a good score. I found this beautiful lady slipper orchid in um, the flower district, actually. That's and I'm not usually an orchid person, but I love her foliage. Yeah. She's so pretty. The best thing about the lady slippers, more, even more than the Phalaenopsis, is that they, even if they do lose their bloom, their leaves are so beautiful. Yeah, I'm not really good with orchids, so this is kind of like an experiment for me, but yeah. she seems pretty happy, yeah. so. And then I've had these guys forever in these water. Are the, the lucky bamboo. Yeah. I think they're actually Dracaenas, believe it yes, or not. Yes, they yeah. are, they are. And yeah, they seem to be thriving, they've been growing. Very cool. Now, how did you get into plants? I came to New York for grad school, and then after I got my first apartment, um, I had like a pothos. Yeah. And I was at that point where I really didn't know a lot about plants, right? So. I was able to keep it alive. Like I kind of could tell when it was thirsty because it kind of droop. And then when I moved to my second apartment, um, I got like a planter of three plants. Mm -hmm. And actually, this one right here, um, my palm. Oh, that's amazing. Was one of the first one, and she was a little baby. Yeah. And it was two other plants, and I didn't even know what those plants were yeah. at the time. But I was pretty successful with it, and that kind of just jump-started my interest. I was like, oh, well, if I can keep these three plants alive, let me try add a few a little more. And Are you the type of person that if um, if you didn't keep them alive, uh, you'd be like, oh, okay, on to the next hobby? Or do you think you'd give it another shot? Um, I probably would have given it another shot. Yeah. Because um, I said, like, my pothos did well, and then I got a calethia, pinstripe calethia, yeah, yeah. and that got spider mites. Yeah. And I didn't realize it or how to, like, look for it, yeah. so that died quickly. So. I was a little defeated at that point, but <laughs> I was able to kind of bounce back. I was like, let me just learn from this. And I think that's what's so great about plants. It's like, it's always a constant learning yeah. journey that you go through and, you know, learning the needs of the plant, their environment, and just like how you can adapt to them and vice versa. So it's been fun. And outside of the plant world, you're a teacher, right? Yes, chemistry teacher. Do you ever bring plants into the uh, into the, the classroom Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I had a bunch of plants in my classroom um, and then I had to take them home. Uh, once COVID hit, mm -hmm. but and then some kids got interested. They wanted to name the plants, so I would bring plants so that they could name. 
and then like each class I had, like I had a, a certain plant for that class that yeah. they could take care of and they could name. Oh, that's um, so sweet. We have a wellness center at my school. Yeah. So I was able to decorate that. The PTA gave me money for that to oh, decorate. Oh, that's like really forward yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I was like, you know, it was so dry yeah. in that room. I was like, it needs plants, it needs life. So yeah. they gave me some money and I was able to decorate it. Oh my gosh. Well, that seems like so appropriate for the wellness yeah. center. Yeah. More kind of like succulent stuff here. Yeah. I've had this one, this Eve's Needle, for a really long time. Um, she's been kind of growing a little crazy. So it's quite a few of these I actually had out on the fire escape last summer, and they did quite well. Ooh. So I might try and do that again. It's getting to that season. Yes, it is. Yeah. Like this guy I had out on the fire escape. Is that and, a type of stapeliad? Um, the lifesaver plant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's only bloomed for me once. And an old man cactus and ponytail palm. And then I have my diva. How has it been with your orbifolia? Um, overall, I have to say, not bad. I mean, yeah. obviously, she gets kind of crispy edges, yeah. which is kind of the norm. But I also don't have a humidifier yeah. in here. I just yeah. have that one little one over there. Good so thing it actually does get like pretty humid in the summer months yeah. right here. Um, yeah. So that's about it in terms of humidity. Um, but I've never had a pest issue. That's okay. great. I have my little air plants over here. I love them. I don't know the exact names. I know this one's Bobosa. Yeah. But I don't remember the names of these little guys yeah, over here. Yeah, it's, it's hard. The Tillandsia are really hard. Yeah, I, I mean, there's I, just so many different varieties. Yeah. So this is um, my Cebu Blue. I actually got this from another Instagrammer. He sent me some cuttings, and I potted it up. And I decided it to put it here. That brick. Yeah, so I had it here before they put the windows in, and then I had to take them down, but I put them back up, and he seems to be pretty good. And this I got from Tula. Amazing. And she's just like, she's beautiful, she's thriving. And you give it some uh, a nice top down light on it. Yeah, too. so, and really, unfortunately, that little alleyway doesn't get really any light. No. So this is really just the bulk of the light she's getting. It's um, nice actually just to have a window for some airflow. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you could open up the windows and just get a little airflow yeah. in. So that's what's good about this. Yeah. But she's got this kind of leg in the back that I think she's going to hopefully Ooh. try and climb up, which yeah, is what my goal like is. Like a climber. Yeah. And I didn't want to skip this, but you have a little oh, black yeah. ZZ back there. I have here. a little ZZ. This was also given to me by another Instagrammer. So cute. That's wonderful. Do you yeah. so is it more like digital plant swaps or uh, do you ever yeah. put them in physical? Uh well if they're like in California no. Yeah. But uh <laughs> New York City, yeah. Yeah. Especially before the pandemic, I would try and go to a bunch of plant swaps. Yeah. Oh and look at this little setup. Yeah, right so this here. is my little happy setup of humidity. So yeah. I don't have a humidifier, but I do have this. And so um smart I got this idea allocation. from my friend Peter. Uh, Petey's Plant House, because he had one just like this, yeah. and the same thing on this bottom, this like kind of tray, and which is great. And then you have a little humidifier little hum here. A little humidity. Hy hy uh, hygrometer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I have pretty much most of like the plants that I think really thrive from that humidity. I mean, uh, my Cupria. Cupria was in there before, but I'm just like kind of running out of room for this. But everyone seems to be happy in here. So take me through some of these. I see your um, Pelea is actually blooming. Yeah. I know. So cool. I've had a lot of trouble with this Pelea. She gets very crispy, and I realized she just needs to be in here 24-7. Yeah. She's like, I'm with all the aroids. Yeah. So special. <laughs> so she... Oh, that's... so. I've never seen... She's, I guess, quite happy. I've never seen the beautiful blooms, and they're like like baby pink. I know. They are very they're cute. They're very cute. But yeah, I've had a lot of trouble to keep her happy, but once I put her in here, yeah. she's oh, pretty good. happy. Well, I've never seen those blooms, so thank you so much um, for showing me. I have my Vichii. Oh my gosh, it's such a cute little Vichii too. Right? It was only had like, I think maybe this one yeah. and this, maybe these two leaves or this something. This new one is looking pretty, yeah, so pretty flamboyant though. She is doing the most, but still looking cute. Yeah. It just still goes to show cute. you that you could get like small, tiny plants. Like it's, you know, it's we're so, we're like, oh, I want that big plant. Right. You could get like the small, small ones and, and just watch them grow. And that's part, like, part of this fun journey, I think, is yeah. like, especially when they're small, and to see the success and watch them grow so big. Yeah. Um, part of the question is, where am I going to put it? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> watching them grow really big has always been really fun for me. And I have like a rubber plant that I'm going to show you. I love that where... planter, by the way, with the. Oh yeah, this is from mosaic. my friend Kevin, clean cut yeah. mosaics. Yeah, that's great. So he makes all these wonderful planters. I literally have so much. He's great. He was actually the first person to reach out to me when I first started my plant Instagram. 
and sent me some pots, and now I've just been like a forever customer. That is so nice. Um, I got, she's starting to crisp up, crisp up it a little bit, but I got this. Another diva. Yes. The varicosum. Varicosum. I got this from my friend Jimmy, Miss Lady the Plant Lady. Oh, yes, I just met. Oh, oh really? Yeah, we just met. That's uh, so amazing. Yes, I got uh, this from him of a plant swap, and I gave him, um, oh, it's a begonia, the one that has like little black, almost like thorns on it. Oh, yeah, the melon bel Yeah, mel Bellata. Milana Bellata. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. See, I gave him yeah, one of those. That's great. And then I got this, and I love it. That's a good, that's a good exchange. Yeah. That's a, like, you're like, oh, I gave him like a pothos. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and then I got this little guy. I think I also got from Jimmy, too. He's growing quite nice. A, this is, is the Mammy Eye, I think? Or oh. Either Mammy Eye or Plow Manny. I eye. think Plow Manny, because look at plow the Manny? little. Oh, the ruffle. The little ruffles on the edge. Oh, yes. Very tiny. Yeah. I've never seen it so tiny. That's amazing. But I've just had it in moss since I got it, and yeah. she's growing pretty well. I'll probably transition it to soil soon. Wow, very good. So you, yeah. you, you, you're like a sphagnum guy. Uh, yeah, I find they work well uh, when you're trying to like acclimate them. Yeah. They do pretty well. Um, I got this elbow from a friend. That's great, and you're yeah. doing some water propagation on yep. that. Yeah, and I think he's going to be ready to go to soil soon. Yeah. It just had this one aerial root yeah. when I got it. Yeah. And so, and I got it a few months ago, and it's been growing all these roots. It's so funny. It's like when it, whenever I'm doing water propagation, I'm like so tempted to just keep on going. In the I know. Well, it's, it's really like, nice to see the roots, yeah. too, and just to see like how yeah. healthy they look and kind of the way they orient themselves in the vessel. The tiniest melacrinosum. Oh, cute. She's got a new leaf finally coming, too. It almost too. looks like a little mycan, so. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's so tiny, yeah. And that kind of luxurious velvety look. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little tiny thing. Um, I got this from my friend Tatiana, Plants with a View. Is that Burl Marks? It's, uh, yeah, Fantasy. Fantasy, yeah. Yeah. And it's all in perlite here. Yeah, Everyone this is how she. Ha yeah, that's how she had it. Okay, so I've just kind cool. of left it in this. It's nice to see everyone's like little like setups. Different ways yeah. That they do it. And so I don't want to disturb it. Yeah. So She's doing pretty good in there. Is that a cryptantha? I think it yeah. Wrap it up for a I'm pretty sure. I think it still says. Something. Yeah. Oh, I think I took it off. But yes, I think that's what it is. All I know is my friend was like, it likes a lot of humidity. <laughs> so I was like, like, all right, okay, yep, you're there. going right in there. But I think uh, she was about here, yeah. or somewhere around here when I got it. Yeah. So she seems to be happy. Yeah, almost needs, I, I always like, was like, always bummed when I'm like, because you can't, it's so hard to get them off this then, I know. and you're like, I want an extension, I like really, a Lego extension. I know, I don't know what I'm going to yeah. do, but yeah, <laughs> she's going to need something soon. But yeah. she seems pretty happy in there. Amazing. I know. Yeah, this is perfect. I've seen people do like orchid chambers like this too. Yeah, yeah, you can do so much with it. So it's great. And then. And it's apartment sized. Yeah. Which is good too. I had to get this. Ooh, Oof. I had to get the smallest one. Oh man, she is just. She's she just is. Being all over the place. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I'll clean it up later. <laughs> so I got this from my friend Alessia, apartment botanist. Yes. And she's just. Thriving and doing, doing beautiful. So I love her well. so much, and it's got this. Hopefully, hopefully, will be a huge leaf coming out soon. Yeah, and the coloration. I just right. Think I always think, think it looks like a this pair of like six pack or eight pack abs. <laughs> I wish I had it. It's better than I do. Like, you just have to hold it in front of you, like right? This, you know. <laughs> and then this guy, I've been trying to. Train up. Train up the wall. Yeah. With some com command hooks are like a lifesaver. They're yeah. great. So I think he's doing pretty well trailing up. A really good, like, low key way of, you know, being able to, you know, stick them on the wall right. without, like, taking all the paint off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then same thing for this guy. So as I said, I got this at the bodega mm -hmm. and it was just in a four inch pot and she's been. And it seems Exploding. like you did your own like sphagnum pole, huh? Uh, yeah, so my friend Agatha actually made this for oh, me. Okay. I'm not good at making yeah, um, you're not, poles. You're yeah, not I, I'd rather wise, just buy right? it from someone or just buy it on store, but yeah, she made it for me and then looks like he's gonna try and climb. So here's my other setup. Actually, I'm probably gonna change this soon. Uh, I love uh, that kind of thing though, like when you go in and you're like, oh, all right, let me. 
I want to switch it up a little. Yeah, bit. so I mean, I've had this basically since I moved in. Yeah. Um, and I found this actually on some other Instagram because I didn't know what to put here. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, I like this. And so I kind of did this. But now I'm kind of like, I want to put shelves uh -huh. on here because I think it will ultimately give me more. So you think shelves space. on the wall? Yeah, shelves? I'm just going to like floating would shelves. Would you let you do that? Yeah, probably. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like you have a good relationship. Yeah. So I want to put shelves up and then probably get the same kind of grow lights. Yeah. And then just because you can actually connect them. So, but this is also a great idea too, because it's like you, you could hang your plants. Yeah. You know, so it, that's that's nice. But you you think you have outgrown it? Yeah. Yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've got my Scandapsis pictus exotica. Whoa! It's even shingling. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. So Stuck she seems wall. really happy. I yeah. mean, I've got this one kind of yellowing leaf, unfortunately, but I've had this plant forever, and it probably actually needs to be repotted. Like it's been in this pot for the longest time. Yeah. Yeah, she's like shingling and it's growing really, really well. It's really amazing to be yeah. shingling on like a painted wall. Even. Yeah. So, actually, yeah. I do have one at home that's shingling, but not not as prolifically as yours, and it's on a painted wall. So yeah. I should probably this one was doing pretty good, but she was kind of growing like this way, and I wasn't very happy. Yeah, so I trimmed her, and yeah. I was like, I want you to go <laughs> this <laughs> way. Towards the light. Exactly. And then I have this, the brandy, which I'm not really into anymore. I'm kind of probably going to yeah. sell it. And she's kind of looking, I mean, she's doing scraggly. pretty well. Yes, exactly. She's yeah. looking a little scraggly, and I'm just, I feel like she could maybe use a better home. It's funny, because I've seen um, a Brantianum on a, on a moss pole, and it got really big leaves, and I was yeah. really impressed with it. And I tried mine on, on a, like a birch pole. Okay. Didn't take it. Really? Didn't take to it. Yeah, so. Interesting. It's a little bit more particular, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I don't know. They can get very kind of like leggy and weird, I feel yeah. like, when... Not quite a hanging basket plant. Exactly. But, you know, it's like it's a kind of somewhere in between. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, my love for her isn't where it used to <laughs> once be. So I'd rather pass it on to another home. Yeah. Here's my little snake corner. I actually love this cultivar. This, like, yes, it's like, the golden flame. Yeah. Call her Phoenix. Very pretty. So I just like, yeah, that... Uh, stark yellow that yeah. it gives, really cool. This I got at Rooted, um, Sansevieria liberaca. I have one, and I was so bummed that it, I found a scale on the bottom of it. Oh, really? I brought it in from Arizona. They grow them oh. outside, so I think you're oh, more likely yeah, yeah, to get a little yeah. pest if you yeah. grow them outside. Um, but yeah. this was actually, I love it, actually both in one container, and then I was able to split it. And so I put the smaller one in this one, and they've been in these containers forever. I think we're so accustomed to having snake plants with like splotches and colors right. and everything. It's a, it's it's really nice to see one that is just like kind of almost a pure green with a little red edging. Yeah, it's, and they're just nice. they're happy, they're easy, yeah. low maintenance. Like, I love it. I love it. Yolanda and Taylor. <laughs> Yolanda and Taylor. It was a Yolanda until you split it. Until and then it I split it. Taylor, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so here I have my real friend. Funny story about this. So I got this Katie. at the, um, let me take it out. I got it at the Home Depot on 23rd Street. What a score. And it just had this. What a and score. And I think it was, I think it was probably about the same size. Yeah. But I had to rescue it because they had like a sign on it, like it was selling with a piece of chalk that you could write on it. Oh, that's And terrible. I was like, oh my God, Wait, I did was. Did you post this on your Instagram? I did, okay, yep. Okay, I think I it's did. very size. Yeah, so. People I, are like, oh, yep, I posted this, like, because yeah. I got this, like, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something. Yeah. And I was like, everyone run to 23rd Street and save these yes, before okay. people. I remember your post. Yeah, <laughs> so I did um, rescue it. And then since then, I've gotten these two huge things. But for the longest time, it was sitting right there, oh, right in front of my window. So well, that's just I know, that like, it's saying thank you. Yeah, thank so you. I know people say low lights, but like, yeah. give them good light if you can. Yeah. And it looks like now she's giving me a little other little baby right here. Oh my God, you're going to have to split it. And I know. Name it something new. She's going <laughs> to, well, I call it Free Willy. Free Willy. Free That's Willy. Good for Cause I, yeah, because yeah. I freed him from the dangers That's of Home Depot. Name. Perfect name. Free Willy. <laughs> the dangers of Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have the starfish, yes. San Severa. So I got this at, um, Beautiful. uh, Full head of hair there. Noble Plants in Flower District? Do you know Noble Plants? It's like oh, the that's, last store. That's the, one of the better ones, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I haven't been there in like three or four years. Yeah. I need to do another Flower District uh, one. They, you can find yeah. some really good finds every now and then. Yeah. So they're good. And then I got the King of Air Plants. Yes. Love these, the Xerographicas. Xerographicas. Mm, 
and then more snake plants, and then Nicki Minaj. <laughs> this was my first um, philodendron pink princess oh, that I got. Um, Did you get it before or after the craze? Um, I feel like kind of just around the time. Okay. Someone reached out to me on Instagram that was yeah. like, I heard you were looking for one, so she gave it to me. Well, I bought it from her, no, but we great. met up at Union Square, yeah. and um, I think it came from Gabriella's originally. Oh, nice. um, yeah. And she grew so, so much, I actually split it mm -hmm. and did like a little experiment. I put like one in perlite, one in soil, mm -hmm. one in moss. Which one did better? And one in water. Um, the perlite and water did quite well okay. in terms of growing roots. The soil did not do so great. Okay. And the moss was like kind of like comparable to the other two. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And is this like the the rotunda? Yeah, so I feel like a lot of folks are starting starting to get these. Yeah, so I just got that from Planted by Christie. Yeah, yeah, had a so few they're there. cute. I thought it was a chocolate aglaonema at first because they do, like a, right? They yeah. do kind of resemble. It, it, it's the same. And see, I had seen, I, and I actually shared this with uh, with Peter. I said, "Gosh, I I saw these in Thailand, and I was like, ooh, what is what is this aglaonema? And they were a little bit thicker leaved. Oh, really? From what I remember. And I was like, oh, so that maybe, but you know, a lot of the cultivars, some of those red aglaonema cultivars feel very flimsy compared right. to the green ones. Right, so right. I think some of the ones I was seeing in Thailand, and probably they, they you know, they're probably growing them in a different kind of condition and they're hardening exactly. off a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is probably like still acclimating, to be honest. Yeah. Cause, um, they, I think they took that one from the back. Yeah, so. they have them in that, that like, the huge greenhouse. Here, here yeah, in the room, you know? I know. My God, the humidity is crazy over there. <laughs> Another success story I want to share with you is this beauty over here. My Thai constellation. Oh. So I got this. In five more years, I'm going to come back and it's going to be huge. I hope so. <laughs> so when I got this, it got um, lost in the mail or it was just in the mail for a very long time. Oh, no. And so when I finally got it, um, it looked like it had some rot in it. Yeah. And uh, the leaves kind of like fell off, off the second day. Oh. So I just, um, and I was in water for about two or three days. I was like, let me put it in moss. Yeah. And I put it in moss and now I got this. So I went from zero leaves to this. Oh my God, good on And you. it's just like blossoming, I love her. And it hasn't really given me any issues. Yeah. So hopefully I'll get fenestrations at some point, but. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it looks like it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. some are bigger, and I got this new leaf coming in. You went from zero in. to hero, how about I know, that? so like, <laughs> it's stuff like this that kind of helps you uh, reinforce that like, oh, maybe I am doing something yeah. okay. And I think like when you get like an investment piece like this too, mm -hmm. it's like you're, you're more inspired to be like, let's yeah. see if I can make this Exactly. Work. I was like, if I can make this a success story, yeah. I really feel like I've done something right for once. Oh. So she's doing good. She likes the light. One of my faves, the ghost cactus. Mm. And Before very slow. Lactia, right? Yeah. Grows very slow, but Hardy. It's new growth. Yeah. Did you, you didn't get this at the, the, the green market always has. No, green, I know? got this from an online seller. Oh, nice. Yeah. So and then here's good. some more of those mosaic pots. I yes. really like them. Yeah. Well, because when new growth comes in, and I think it needs a lot of direct sun, but yeah. when new growth comes in, it comes in pink. Oh, that's so great. So that's yeah. why you picked that That's planter. why I picked the pink. Fanta yeah. Fantastic. So I haven't really seen kind of pink on this, but yeah. I have seen it on some of them. And I have a bunch of like cacti and succulent. I don't really know exactly. Um, and then I have a, another cactus. I have no idea what it is, but she's cute. We'll have to get all the cacti experts. To right? Weigh I'm in. like, you were cute, so I got you. Yeah. Maybe a type yeah. of mammalaria. I don't know. But it, and it also doesn't really do a lot. So maybe. Yeah. I mean, I had it outside last summer too, but still didn't really do much. And then so, that's a puba calyx, right? And then the I have corner, my puba right? calyx. She's beautiful. Um, yeah, and I've had. It's in perlite. Has she I, flowered for you yet? No, I'm she hasn't so flowered. Mine too. And, but I've got this Long tentacle yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Peduncle? I don't think it's a peduncle. Well, the peduncle, no, that's it's just still. I'm not a Hoya person, but yeah. I thought this was kind of cute. But like this thing, she's just been kind of growing crazy and trying yeah. to grab onto anything. She'll it's probably, very interesting. And she'll probably start putting, oh, see, here's some leaves coming here. Yeah. Right, right around here. And then here too, I think, right? Yeah. 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 Some people are like, oh, should I clip it off? Like, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Let, let her I go. was like, no, I don't want to clip her off, but like. Where, where to put her is yeah. always like the thing, uh, the question of the day of what she's going to grab onto. Another diva. Oh but, my goodness. And so this was 
uh, my reel this morning from all the new growth that she's actually giving me. Though. I love it, and the planter pot is perfect for it again. Yeah, so actually this was um, the first pot he sent me. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, and so um, I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect. Yeah. It like complements it nicely. And what's the so. name of the, the planter? Uh, uh, the Kevin, guy? Clean Kevin. Cut Clean okay. Cut Mosaics. Clean Cut Mosaics. Yeah. That's He's great. great. He's great. Anna and Elsa. Oh, my goodness. My Marble name. Queens. I, it's so funny that you named them. I do. I try and remember them. Yeah. Their names. But, yeah. And when I got these, they were just little, like, I think, six-inch ones that appear. Yeah. So over the last year. Is that a little Wally Grow container? Yeah. Yeah. Some Wally Grow. Can't even see them anymore. <laughs> I know. So that was my goal. I was like, yeah. I hope they grow so I can just, yeah. just kind of see the plant. Yeah. It's just kind of like this white accent in the back. <laughs> but, yeah, they've been growing really well. Your Maranta looks My beautiful. Maranta. Wow. I got this off, like, on Facebook's. I don't even know, like some marketplace or something. Oh my and gosh, a Facebook marketplace? Yeah, or so, like, I, is something I, moving or something? I have no idea, but oh it's, my goodness! And it wasn't even that expensive. Yeah, and it's beautiful. And then I cut a piece off, and I it rooted, and now I just recently potted it. Oh, that's a that's a slick pot, planter pot too. Like Thank the color, you. The, the, the well, I mirrors. wanted to try and kind of bring out this like dark yeah. color, so I got that kind of dark or deep nice. green. I think he calls it. Down here, we have some... Ooh, a pack of podium. Okay. Yeah, so I had it, la last summer, it had a bunch of leaves, and then it decided to lose all the leaves. I, my, mine, I tend to lose them in the winter months. The first year, the first summer I had that afterwards, it didn't, yeah. but then last summer it did. Huh. But now it's starting to make a comeback. Yeah. And so I'm probably gonna throw her out on the fire escape oh, as well. Oh, great. And here, you have another... Like, so that's the polia in something with an eye. I can't remember. Mm, I don't know. But she's loving it under this grow light. Clearly. Yeah. It's like a bush now. Yeah, she's been growing quite vociferously, yeah. if you will. And here's a, another, uh, is this another lactium? Yeah, it's another euphorbia. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then another skindapsis and, and a birkin. birkin. Yeah. So I just put him under there because I feel like he wasn't getting enough light. And then I have a little aloe, aloe but I'm not exactly sure what kind of aloe that is. It almost looks like a ferox, but it's probably not. Oh, Marlo okay. Maybe a Marlosii? Is I'm it? not sure. I've been getting all this new growth, so I it's think gorgeous. she's happy. I think she's happy. I'm into it. Yeah. So the pickle plant, which <laughs> this plant, and I uh, just recently saw one of your videos where you were talking about how like okay. these are actually can be pretty good for trailing because yeah, they like kind of do that. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, well, maybe I should do that with yeah. this because this is just going everywhere. everywhere and I have yeah. another one in my room and same thing everywhere. <laughs> I, I try and tame it, but I'm like, I kind of give up. Yeah. It's kind of an unusual up. one. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. I, I, I'm into it actually. And like sometimes they, they, they get these little things and they sometimes break off or whatever. But yeah, I haven't really had yeah. that yet. But yeah. No, she seems pretty happy, and yeah. then, um... Oh, these are the, um, I just uh, see, I think there's, there's, are these the sedums? They, they grow so long, and then you have to, like, cut them back and is stuff. Is that what it is? I mean, yeah. it makes sense. I don't know exactly. Yeah. I would just, like, I've had these forever. Like, they were just, like, this big mm -hmm. when I got it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I just want a second one. This is kind of cute. Yeah. Let me show you my Birkin. Did you get a Birkin at Sprout? So remember when like Birkins were like kind of like all the rage? Yeah. What was that like a it, summer ago or two it, summers it was, or whatever? Yeah, it was kind of like a fast in and yeah, out. It was, yeah, exactly. It was a yeah. very fast in and out. And so um, when they had just got them, I ran over and grabbed one. And it was in a six inch pot and just kind of blossomed since then. Yeah. She's like humongous. The growth structure is nice. It's like very full and yeah. you know, gnarly. Don't ask me what I've done. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> just I don't set know. it right there yeah. and just so, look at it. But uh, I noticed, because for the longest time it was actually under here. Mm -hmm. And I think um, that kind of gave me this like strong, I mean it's starting to brown now unfortunately, yeah. but that was giving me I think the strong white variegation because mm. of all, because this mm. is on for 12 hours a day. Mm. So. Um, I think the more light it gets, the more variegation. And let's see, I got a little uh, peperomia. The um, are those the albo vitadas or um, something? The piccola. Piccolo, piccolo, piccolos. Piccolo, okay. Yeah. Um, an African violet. So beautiful. I had one flower. for the longest time. It was doing so great, and I, it was at school with me. And then once COVID hit and yeah. the schools closed down, I forgot to bring it home with me. Oh no! So it died. So I was like, I need to get another African violet because I miss it. So, 
and then the marginata. I've had this forever. Was it one of your firsts? Um, not my first, but mm -hmm. I've had it for at least like a year and a half or mm -hmm. something. It was kind of like down to here. Mm -hmm. And this thing just grows nonstop. Also hasn't given me any issues. Good. Because I know sometimes these can be um, vitrocinas with like, I think what, aphids or thrips and stuff. I've never had any problems with okay. them, so. Yeah, so I've yeah. never had any issues. And then I have this Gloriosum that I recently just repotted. So beautiful. Right? These on this look great. I didn't realize these are such crawlers though, because I had to get like a little wider pot. And you're, of, yeah, look at for that. This thing. You almost need a wider, yeah. Wide, I know. I was like, I, I, yeah, in yeah. hindsight, I was like, I probably should have gone wider. This is probably one of my faves. Oh, so beautiful. Claire Nervium? Take, yes, let me take her out so we oh, get a wow. good look at her. Wow. Oh, I just love her so much. Wow. So she's I got this so from. Big and bodacious. Right? Yeah. And she got a new leaf that just came in. It's very interesting because I feel like this plant alternates between leaves, inflorescences, leaves, inflorescences. Hmm. And once I see an inflorescence, I cut it off. You cut it like, off. Yeah, you're I'm not, all I'm, about the leaves. Yeah, I'm all about the leaves. Yeah. I don't really care about pollinating or yeah. anything like that. Um, so I always cut those off, but I got the, so my friend Brian, um, who lives in Long Island City, he bought two of them from Poland. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I think they weren't that expensive. Wow. And so, um, and they were much smaller. And he doesn't really have a humidifier either. Yeah. So it was, I think, just used to this kind of natural humidity. Because yeah. as I said, I don't really use a humidifier. And, you know, they look, they they look, look fine. Because like it's been acclimated yeah. Yeah. so long. And yeah, I finally bought one off of him. Oh, well done. I know, I love it. So she did you have brought... to, he brought it from, in from Poland? Or you had to bring no, it No, 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 he got it shipped from Poland. OK, He got right it shipped on. from Poland. Um, I think I also got this from Alessia. Gorgeous. This, yeah, variegated bro marks. And she's so doing pretty really well. It's actually really beautiful, nice. That's really yeah, nice right. It's got some nice yeah. variegation. And then, so I got this de uh, Cresiva, and I want. I was trying to get it to go up a pole, but mm -hmm. I guess I did this wrong because mm -hmm. originally the pole was there. Mm -hmm. And then she decided to do this. So <laughs> now I don't know what to do. She's got like a little tail. Yeah, I really. Cause this is obviously where the new growth yeah. is going to come. Yeah. But I really don't know what to do. Yeah. Because I. I, I guess, sturdy, like, yeah, too. she's like, yeah. she's not really budging, and I yeah. don't want to break her, so. Yeah. Oh, well, live and learn. <laughs> um, I don't know what these are called, but I, I think, think they're cute. I think Haworthia venosas. Okay, I knew it was a Haworthia, yeah. but yeah. I didn't know exactly what kind. Yeah, I think they're sometimes called, uh, sometimes called reticulated Haworthias. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. They look like little snake skin. I like those. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like what I was drawn to it. Yeah. So, but she seems happy. And then the friendship plant, the polia. Oh, remember um, when? Remember when they were so hot? Yeah, <laughs> right? But and, they're very giving plants, so. Well, I have not always had great luck with these. Okay. Um, this is like my third, second or third one. Okay. And like this is, I feel like, my best looking yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I can't get really good luck with these. I mean, it, it doesn't look terrible. No, it looks but good. But like, I don't know. I know some folks have like plants. My, mine kind of went a little bald on the bottom now, and it's like, and, and it started putting out a lot of babies. Yeah. But some have like leaves all the way yeah. down. Yeah, and, and I'm like, like oh, how wow. do you do that? Yeah. I'm like, that's so jealous, so jealous. <laughs> and the little pepperomia argeria right yeah. here. Yeah, well, this is actually supposed to be a variegated one. Is it? Yeah, oh, well, that's like what I ordered. Oh, one little leaf. Yeah. Oh, I see on the side, yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't kind of as variegated as I yeah. thought when I bought yeah. it. So okay. it was so a little... Yeah, little splotches Yeah, so, but I mean, she's doing quite well, mm -hmm. so. And then I have another Haworthia. I love Haworthias. They're kind of with the aloes. Like, they, yeah. look at all the little babies coming out here. It's been in this pot forever. Yeah. I've had this jade for quite a long time. I think she's pretty happy. I don't remember where I got it, but yeah. she's definitely getting a little full. Nice. Yeah. I can't remember the name of this. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm blanking on the name, but it has like a long... Cacti lovers, help us. It, um, it has like an... The gymno The... Uh, Gymnocalaceum. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. But yeah, that's my living room. Amazing. Shall and we the, check out Yeah, the, the bedroom. bedroom. Onto Let's the bedroom. Let's check out the bedroom. And I got this... Aglaonema, this who's is like, full. Ex yeah, it she's looks exploded. Like three aglaonemas in one. So I got this um, at Rooted when they were in the Brooklyn kind of warehouse oh, type. Oh, for that little small. That little like part of time, right? Yeah. So that was my first time there, and I got this, yeah. and it was in a six-inch pot when I got it. Good on you. And 
like honestly in this space right now, this yeah. is probably the best light yeah. it's gotten. Oh, that's good. Because it will get some direct sunlight from well, the window in the morning. Well, it seems like it likes it. And yeah, here, see, here's the little red ugly nemas and they have much thinner leaves than those green ones. Right. But, and this yeah. is a, like, I would say pretty easy to take care of. Like mm -hmm. I got the, um, the, what is it called? Uh, moon. It's got like speckles on it. Oh, I know the aglaonema with the white speckles. Yes. On it. Yeah, I don't and, know that one. And yeah. that one died yeah. on me. And like, yeah. I didn't realize that was a little bit harder. I guess yeah. like I was underestimating it. But this one is like no frill, yeah. no issues. Like, so yeah, she's doing well. Amazing. So we got Edgar. Oh, here's your, your here's black the huge Fiji. one. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe, I call him. Oh my gosh, never more. <laughs> never more. <laughs> um, so this was under the bar, but yeah. then like. These new growths were coming in, and she was just getting too tall, so I had to I had to move it. So I put it here, and then I have these little more air plants, and oh, I'm gonna display. and um, thank you, and they've grown pups. Oh look, look at that! Because it's getting this oh. great light right here yeah, every this morning. Yeah, just looks like it's about to flower as well, or mm -hmm. maybe had just flowered. Yeah, this one had just flowered. Yeah. But all of these that have been in these little containers, they've all grown pups. I, have, I don't want to separate yeah, them. Yeah, I have an Ionantha that's actually so fat now. Because I have it in one one little glass container, and you're oh. right. Oh no. Uh, you're right. It, it, uh, that one has two. It's almost like a two headed Medusa. Yeah. <laughs> so this one has wow, giving me pups. That's so nice. Yeah, I guess one pup there, one pup yeah. there. I think maybe it just roots. keeps the humidity in or something. Though. I don't know. I mean, it's just sitting on, I was like, I just want something yeah. cute and decorative. <laughs> so, and then this one uh, has not, but this wasn't always here. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah. But still doing well. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have another, see? Pick yes. pair that just yes. like is going everywhere, it's whatever like it wants a, to go. Like it's a, like, okay. I just like, that's why I said it's such a funky hanging basket plant. Yeah. And then this is um, another specific name, and I yeah, can't remember. I got it from Tula. Astrophytum. Yes, there yeah, you go, Astrophytum. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And that one looks like it's about to flower. Um, I feel like that was there last summer, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. But may I don't know. I maybe can't remember. It's, maybe it's a slow Can you take them off one. or no? I would let it flower. I think they usually get like a really beautiful. I think it's a yellow flower. Oh wait. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, it did yeah. flower. Yeah. It did flower okay. last year. Now I remember. Yes, yeah. a yellow flower. Yeah. yeah. So like, is it gonna flower from that point again? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would leave that on. Okay, so then hopefully she'll flower again. Yeah. And then I just, I got this from Home Depot too, <laughs> a prickly pear, but she's actually been doing, oh, she's let go. Oh, she's pick a plant. <laughs> yeah. But she, she gave me these. I had like another big one and I knocked it over and yeah. it fell off, but like, this is another plant I threw outside and as you can see, I think because of that strong mm -hmm. light, you get that kind of purple. Mm -hmm. Uh, variegation there, so Man, she liked are, being outside. You are working that fire escape, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put the small ones out because I don't know if you're supposed to have anything out there. Well, so I know. You gotta know. like be careful. In trouble, but... Yeah, so here's Frank, my fiddle leaf. Oh my gosh, everybody has a Frank. Yeah, everyone <laughs> has a Frank, and overall he's doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, I just gave him a shower. How did he like it? He likes it. He <laughs> likes his showers too, and I still have this one leaf. <laughs> it just won't really go anywhere. Um, but I find that with this one, I'll get like some new growth that happens quite quickly. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be like times where just like nothing's mm. happening. It's like, I I don't know. It's time for new growth though. It's, we're, we're approaching spring. So. Yeah, but he really hasn't given me much lately. So that's those guys. And then here is one where I was talking about before, my rubber plant. Oh, so another success story. So when I originally got this, it was like about here. Yeah. And he's just been, he loves the window. Like these guys, don't be afraid to give them light because yeah. these guys I found really like good light. So he's been growing. I haven't had any growth from him mm -hmm. in months though. Well, we're just coming out of winter. Yeah, right? I guess so. so. He was yeah. being dormant, so. But yeah, he's been growing. Quite nicely. Beautiful. Yeah. I love the coloration too. And I love how like kind of thick and woody mm. they get for the really old part. And unfortunately, I haven't really need, to, haven't had to stake him yet or anything because yeah. they can get kind of leggy. And I guess if you ever want them to start branching, you could like clip them. Yeah, I could top, clip but, them, but, but the straight, straight and narrow. I kind of really like, too. yeah, I like yeah. the straight and narrow. Yeah. So here's the aloe that I was telling you about. Oh, it's so my hedgehog gorgeous. aloe, Ooh. and she's just growing and growing. I repotted her 
few months ago, I think, or maybe at the end of last summer. I can't really remember. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, elves are off. so giving. Yeah, she's just, she's great. She once again loves this light. So she's doing good. Another ZZ because I need plants I can't stress about. <laughs> so. I just get they're always the first to, I, I recommend for like yeah, first timers. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. They're great. And then I just repotted this oh, it's guy. Diana. Yeah. So for the longest time, I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was because I wasn't watering enough because I got it from a friend and their mix, I guess, was just very well draining or mm. whatever it was. And so when I repotted into my mix, it finally started growing a little better, and now she's just been growing crazy. So I just put her on this pole. Fantastic. It looks like you're going to have to get a bigger pole. I know. Well, yeah. thankfully, I got these kind where you can just kind of slip it on. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. They so, need but, to be more modular. Yeah, yeah. So that was good. And then another raindrop. I love raindrop peperomias. Me too. They're just so pretty. I cut mine so back because they, it was getting a little leggy. And it then, was? Yeah, and so now but I... But I've noticed that I get a lot of yellow leaves. Like, the yellow leaves happen pretty quickly on the lower leaves. Yeah, so yellow could also be nitrogen deficiency. Especially really? if you're getting them on the lower lower part of the leaves. Um, it, it, it's either old, it could be older leaves or it could also be, like, a nitrogen deficiency. So when you're when it starts to get a uh, growth season time, I might, you might, I might recommend, like, a little... Because what happens if you're if you're still getting new growth and you're getting yellow leaves on the bottom, mm -hmm. then it might actually be trying to transfer the nutrients from the older leaves up towards the new new growth as mm. well. So just keep. I an mean, eye I do use liquid dirt well, almost every time I water, and then yeah. I also use Schultz. Okay. Uh, fertilizer. What's the nitrogen on those? Do you know? Uh, I'd have to look at the yeah. thing. I want to switch over to Dynagro. Oh. I've heard good things about Dynagro. Yeah, I, I know a lot of growers will use Dynagro. Yeah. I've never used it before. So, but. Um, and then I got, so this was another kind of like success story. I'll have to show you a picture, but I ordered this. I can't remember where I ordered it. Maybe actually, Yuka, Yuka Genera. Oh, Equigenera. Yeah, I'm always yeah. butchering the name. Um, but when I got it, it lost, it had like nice big leaves. I don't actually know what this one is. This is the um, Bernada, Bernada, pa, Bernada. Oh, Bern, uh, Philodendron Bernada, Bernada Posi, Posi, Posi. Or something? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm saying, yeah. I'm butchering the name. Um, so that's what it was, and it had like bi three big leaves. Yeah. And then I lost them, but then I put it in moss, and now I got this. See, I think you're kind of going through the same thing that a lot of people do when they, they buy from like the, you know, places in Ecuador and whatever. Yeah. It's just acclimatizing. I know. Plants. Yeah. But is this came a, back. A, like a, a, like one of those this pedialanthus, is, like devil's backbone? Yes, backbone. devil's backbone. I've never seen leaves so large on these. Oh, that's, really? Yeah, that's... Crazy. I forgot where I ordered yeah. this online and I forgot where I ordered from, but yeah, she's doing That's pretty good. That's a very large leaf variety. Yeah. Um, then I have my Florida ghost here. Oh, and that's 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 beautiful. Look at the lime green leaves on that. Yeah. Beautiful. She's doing pretty well. Very slow grower though, but hmm. overall pretty well. Mine I have to cut back. It's like, it's not a Florida ghost though, it's like a, it's a regular Florida beauty. And then I have. This little setup I did, so it's two Brazils on either side, and I threw a palm in the middle. Nice. And it's been growing quite well. And then you have even down here, like a little. And then I have little stuff down here. So and I have another starfish. Yeah. Um, a little oh, whole peppermint. Oh, and you can see, so you can see like talenti. I always like comment. I'm like, oh, like, I see what yogurt you eat and what oh, ice cream yeah, you eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're perfect to upcycle, yeah. so it's great. And then another. Um, Hindu rope. Hindu rope, yeah. yeah, but Lily does nothing for me, so it's not really <laughs> sparking joy much anymore. Um, Plant swap. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking for that yeah. one. This one, he's been growing quite good for, I've had him for quite a long time. Is, it, is the new one behind, or the new, is there a new growth uh, behind, or is it so the front one? I think one. this is actually the new growth, this that's one that's in front right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a new growth. We can take him out. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah, I think this is, was like the original one. Yeah. He's he's, this is so funny. He's like so tight, tighter right? over here, and now he's like a little bit more loosey goosey, huh? Mm -hmm. And then, well, actually, I'm getting this new. Yeah. This one. Cool. Yeah, I realize it's a little moldy. Yeah. I guess I'm watering too much. But she drinks pretty quickly. Mm. So. And then. Your Ludicia, did you get any flowers yeah. this winter? No, I didn't get any flowers. Yeah, I love so it. So I originally like, had one of these pots. and I tried to do it. Yes, I try, <laughs> I try. Um, I originally had this in Lekka. Yeah. And I did not do well with it. Oh, really? I guess I'm just not meant for semi hydro, but <laughs> um, soil all the way. So now, but it's been doing good, yeah. the soil. And these, like, interesting kind of crawler. 
type patterns I that they know. have. Yeah, it, they, th this is also another great plant that eventually gets so crawly, crawly, you yeah. want to just like cut it back and I it know. does well with cutting back. But they back. get nice and kind of mm. full if the mm. leaves are big. And then this is, um, I think, just another type what, of pepperomia. Yeah, one of your other pepperomias. Yeah. Yeah. This one's hard yeah. to keep really bright red, I find, yeah. on the bottom. I don't think this kind of grow light. Yeah. I mean, it gets some light from this window, but I don't yeah. think this grow light is maybe strong enough for it. So cool. I like how you, you know, it's a tiny little bedroom, but you... you I you try to maximize. To, you maximize, you packed it in there. I did, I tried. I and tried. You, get, you get good windows, and so you might be blocked a little bit with the buildings, but still. Yeah. This is just lovely, Paul. Thank you so much for well, taking us through. Oh, no your... problem. Thank you yeah. so much for coming. It's yeah. been and I will... great showing you all my plants. I and finally, someone I get to talk about it for a while. Look at your progress as you start to like reshelve the plants. I know. And Hopefully, it'll be good. Hopefully, yeah. it'll be good. So. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Interested in developing a deeper relationship with the people and plants around you? Then check out my book, How to Make a Plant Love You. Cultivate green space in your home and heart. More information up on my blog at homesteadbrooklyn.com. And if you're looking for more tactical plant care, then you could turn to the Houseplant Masterclass, which is the first online audiovisual course on houseplant cultivation, care, maintenance, and more at houseplantmasterclass.com.